Hello. Well, as I told you before, today I am going to be talking about power in more than one way. First of all, we're going to be talking about power supplies within computers, which are essential for them to work for us, right? And then we're going to be talking about your power if you become a computer scientist and how you can tackle the future. Okay, so let's get started. Well, we will talk about powering up. And we need to know that computers actually require the direct current, okay? Which, um, if you're not very familiar with the, the direct current or AC or DC, but maybe you're familiar with the band, right? AC and DC. The DC power, you know, the direct current or DC is provided when you convert the AC from the wall into DC. So what that means is that when you power up and you get the power, it's not just like uh, getting it directly and using it, but it has to undergo a certain transformation. Now, um, electronics are devices that we have to care for and they are sensitive, right? So we have to make sure that the, as, the electron, as, as the electricity is flowing towards them, it is in a smooth way, right? That's why in many instances we recommend that you have a UPS or some other form that will prevent big spikes for, from going into your device. Okay, let's continue. So how about desktop power? In with that means, with, with what that means is what about computers that are desktops, okay? Well, they have internal power supplies, just like the one that you can see right in there. Sometimes the power supply is something that can get uh, damaged, right? And uh, it's kind of easy to just go back and change the power supply. However, however, a big thing, if you decide that something is wrong with your power supply and you want to exchange it, do not, and I repeat, do not be lured by the fact that there is one super cheap power supply and then there is others that are not so cheap and you go all cheap and you buy the worst one, okay? Be very mindful of what your computer needs look at the reviews and then buy the power supply. Don't go cheap on it because the power supply is the one that gives you power in your computer. And if it fails or if it doesn't do its job properly, your computer is gonna suffer. It's gonna suffer greatly, okay? Now power supplies are, are you know, by definition give a lot of heat, right? So within the power supply there is you know, certain fans, and there is fans sometimes even around the computer within the, you know, close to the CPU and things like that to keep the air flowing. Whenever you put your computer, no matter where you put it, always make sure that there is air going in and out because it can get really hot. And that includes laptops. So whenever you think power, you have to think heat. Let's continue. So how about laptop power? Well, Laptops are the same kind of thing, right? It's the same kind of uh, mm, premise like index, in desktops, but in this one, we actually have the external adapter. Now, you have seen those things, I'm pretty sure, because they are really annoying. When you have your laptop, there's always that little box within, you know, outside, and uh, it's kind of annoying because you're dragging it, and why can it just be so simple that something that you can plug in and that's it? Well, there is that little box which is converting the current to current that actually your computer can use, okay? And uh, um, in a way, in many instances, laptops saves, save our lives because if something is unplugged, you always have the battery, right? But, you know, your power supply, again, has to meet the specifications, just like for the desktop, for your laptop. And those specifications are very clear within the the adapter itself. So if you ever had the, the misfortune of having to replace one of those for a laptop, they are very specific. Like Dell has its own kind of that thing and everybody keeps on changing the plugs, the outlets, the, the voltage, everything. It's just kind of hard to find exactly the same thing that you need. So many times I remember years ago, whenever something like that failed, you were doomed, you had to get another computer because it was really, really hard to find a substitute. And sometimes when you were going to buy one of those, oh my God, they were expensive, okay? Let's continue. So, 
Speaking about another kind of power, we're going to talk about careers in IT. And this is, this gives us a lot of power. So let's start from the top. Computer technicians. For computer technicians, you know, you can become a computer technician by coming to Leeward. At Leeward, there are several things that we can do for you. Uh, some of the things is that we can teach you to be a help desk employee, and we can teach you a lot of things on how to deal, not just with people, but with devices and how to, there is actually a help desk certificate, and that will help you. We teach you that, and we teach you, among other things, how to do networking. But there is many, many other things, and I am not gonna start and continue on only on that, because there's so many things that you can learn here at Leeward, that I am just gonna tell you, as I list things, I'm gonna tell you, if you can get it from here, or if we kind of get you on your way, or you can get it totally done in here, okay? So let's go back to the PowerPoint. You can learn completely at Leeward how to be a computer technician. You can also become a network technician, which, by the way, they are in high demand, by coming to Leeward because we are going to teach you anything that has to do with fixing networks. Um, to become assistant administrator, you may be it, it may be enough with what you will learn at Leeward getting your AS, but we could also prepare you with the first two years or of a four-year bachelor's degree either at UH Manoa or at UH West Oahu. You may become a software developer. For this, we have the first two years and then you will either transfer to Manoa or transfer to another four-year university where you can do software development or software engineering. You may want to be a web developer, for that, we can, uh, you can actually do some work if you just graduate from Leeward with an AS, or you could continue in UH West Oahu. And last but not least, you can become an app developer. For you to become an app developer, you don't need that much. Actually, that's one of the things that you can do by yourself because you can become self-employed by writing your own apps. And for that, we have a specialization here at Leeward where you can get your AS in computer science and learn to create apps. Who knows, maybe you're the person that is gonna create the next um, Angry Birds or Flappy Birds or whatever it is that it's up there right now. Okay, let's continue. So certification, certification is something that you're gonna hear a lot about, mostly if you're looking for a job. I'm gonna list a few of the certifications that are mm, current in the market. A plus, which teaches you about hardware and help desk kind of stuff, you know, fixing computers. That we actually can teach you here in ICS 125. Network plus, you know, it's about network technology, how to maintain networks, keep them you know, running, up and running, and that's our ICS 184 course. Then we have Security Plus, which it goes really nice with the other two certifications, and it allows you to keep networks secure. And for that, we have ICS 171. Then we have CEH, or Certified Ethical Hacking. And for that, we also have a course. But that's not all. We actually have other things that you can learn from us. And there are so many certifications. And as certifications come you know, up in the market, we actually go and look and find out the way to provide you with that knowledge. So when you take our courses, the courses that I listed, for example, you don't really need to go and take the certification. You may want to because many times employers say, oh, okay, you have a, an, a, an associate degree or you have this certificate or something. But industry certifications are important to them. Many times they are like, oh, I don't, you know, if, if they're going to choose between one person that has a, a, certif a certification and somebody that doesn't, with all things being equal, they will probably get the person with the certification. So you don't have to do it alone, you know. We are going to help you prepare. And then it will be up to you if you want to go ahead and take the exam or you don't want to, okay? But let's continue. So how about computer science? Like if you were going to study like hardcore computer science. If you were going to do this, then you could study to become a software engineer. If you wanted to do that, again, you know, you could do the first two years here and then move to Manoa or to another university with a four-year program. 
You could be a computer or a hardware engineer. Again, you can do your first two years here studying an ASNS and then going to Manoa to the College of Engineering. Otherwise, you could be a database administrator, right? You could actually go to uh, Manoa again or any other for your university. And then we have some interesting things such like cryptography and networking. If we think about networking and things like that, uh, we have now articulated with West Oahu and people that come from Leeward, they can go over there and they can continue their education in a Bachelor's of Applied Sciences in security, in information assurance. So it is really awesome. So what else do we have in front of us? Let's take a look at the future. Well, in the future, we have wearable computers, and we have virtual reality devices, okay? Now, they are not that far in the future. We are actually wearing computers like my bracelet right here, right? We're wearing things that measure what we're doing and how we're doing. Virtual reality devices are out there with the new glasses that uh, Microsoft got out and the Google glasses. So there are many, many things, and I can just imagine the bunch of things that are going to be by the time that you look at this broadcast. So let's keep updated. Remember, technology is always changing, and let's just keep it up. See you in the future.